on WKRT News 5. An hour away from lawmakers returning to session where impeachment is the topic on everyone's mind. We'll have a live report from Montgomery. Plus, money could finally be coming in years after the worst oil spill in U.S. history. And voters head to the polls in Wisconsin today, and the two front runners may not come out ahead today. And the sun is smiling down on a beautiful spring day for the Gulf Coast. We'll talk about that and some midweek rain coming up on News 5 at noon. From WKRG News 5, the Gulf Coast News Leader, the news starts now. Hello and thanks for joining us today for News 5 at noon. I'm Devin Walsh. First on 5, we're about an hour away from lawmakers returning to session for the first time since the scandal in the governor's office broke. Several legislators have already said they would introduce impeachment papers and even more have said they would vote to impeach. News 5's Peter Albrecht has been in Montgomery since Sunday night and he joins us now with the very latest. Pete? Yes, well, Devin, it was on March 23rd that allegations were brought forth that the governor had broken the law and had an extramarital affair with his top political aide. The next day, on the 24th, the legislature adjourned for spring break. So for the last 12 days, the lawmakers have been at home across the state, and they've been getting an earful from their constituents about the governor. And in just one hour at 1 o'clock, the House will reconvene, and Representative Ed Henry of North Alabama is expected to introduce a resolution of impeachment against the governor. Now, virtually every lawmaker that I've spoken to says the governor should resign, but they also say that impeachment is a very serious matter that should be deliberated very cautiously. I certainly think that we need to let the investigative process play out. I think those that are investigating it are non-biased and objective. It's an interesting day in the history of Alabama, so I'm waiting and watching to see what unfolds and see how it unfolds and learning the procedures, and I want to listen to everything brought forward. And Representative Henry has scheduled a press conference for 1230 to talk about that resolution of impeachment, exactly what the charges will be. And again, at 1 o'clock, the House goes back in session. The Senate goes back in session at 2, but at this point, impeachment is not their problem. Only if the House impeaches will the Senate then hold a trial to determine if the governor stays or goes in office. Okay, Pete, so let's assume the impeachment resolution gets entered this afternoon. Then what? Well, most likely it will go to the Rules Committee, a 15-member committee, and the first time that they would have a chance to discuss that would be Thursday morning. There is a slight chance that it could be discussed and voted on today, but for that to happen, 80% of the House members would have to agree to do that. The House Speaker would have to agree to let that happen. And in speaking to people up here, I just don't see that happening. I think the chances of that happening are very, very small. All right, we'll check back in with you tonight on News 5 at 5. Thanks, Pete. Well, yesterday during a public appearance in Limestone County, Governor Robert Bentley admitted to his mistakes and he asked the people of Alabama for forgiveness. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things that I take full control of. I take full, it's, it's me. I did it. I did it. And that's why I asked the people of this state to forgive me because they are a forgiving people and they know God's grace. They know God's grace. And I'm not going to take, I, I will not, I, listen, I've made my statement just then. I will not take any more questions about that issue. We're going to talk about prisons now. Well, an interesting statement from the governor. So we wanted to know what you think. Do you forgive him or do you think he should be out of office? Our poll on WKRG.com seemed a little bit one-sided. So let's break down the numbers with J.B. Buno from the Web Center. J.B. Yeah, there's a new poll, Devin. We just got it up this morning on the WKRG Facebook fan page and WKRG.com. Let's take a live look here at the results. So here's what we asked. Do you forgive Governor Bentley for his sex scandal? We gave you three possible responses. Yes, I forgive him and he deserves to stay. Yes, I forgive him, but he still needs to go, or no, I don't forgive him, and he should resign or be impeached. So if we take a live look here at the results, we've gotten them in about 400 votes so far, and a heavy majority uh, say that he should still resign or be impeached with about a split here of folks saying whether or not they forgive him. So about 90% of people think that Governor Robert Bentley should resign or be impeached 
less than 10% saying that he wants to stay in office. If you want to take a closer look at these numbers of whether or not he should be forgiven, Check it out right now. It's on WKRG.com and the WKRG Facebook fan page. And that's an interesting question. A lot of people are saying, well, I forgive him, but I still think he should be out of office. Yeah, I mean, people tend to forgive and say that maybe they like the job he's doing as governor and want him to continue for the next couple of years. That's uh, up to the voter to decide. And people can still get on WKRG.com and vote, correct? They can do that right now. We want everyone to vote. We'll take a live look at these results later on in our evening newscast. All right, J.B. Buno. Thanks, J.B. Well, even with impeachment on its doorstep, Governor Bentley continues to make moves. This morning, he ordered the National Guard to help support operations at the U.S. border with Mexico. Alabama will send one helicopter and three pilots to Arizona. They will remain there until the end of September. In a statement, the governor said that border security is an issue that's important to every American. In addition to protection, the guardsmen will conduct training exercises. A settlement's been reached in the worst oil spill disaster in U.S. history. The complicated legal battle over the Deepwater Horizon explosion came to an end this week. A federal judge has ordered BP to pay $20 billion for the explosion that killed 11 workers. It also caused 134 million gallons of oil to gush into the Gulf of Mexico. The money awarded in the settlement will be dished out over a 16-year period. The Huffington Post is reporting that BP will save billions under terms of the agreement. All right, so let's take a look at how it's going to work out. BP is able to classify 15 of the $20 billion payout as a business expense and deduct that amount on the company's taxes, and that could save BP more than $5 billion. We have an update now on the homicide yesterday off of NAFCO Road. The victim in the deadly shooting has been identified as Cardi Bartholomew. The shooting happened Monday morning in the 1400 block of NAFCO Road. Officers responded to the scene after receiving a disorderly conduct call. Bartholomew was found shot in the driveway. He was pronounced dead there. If you know anything about this case, call Mobile Police. Patrick Heron was in court today. You remember that name? He's the guy who was charged with criminal surveillance for videotaping women in a bathroom at a Mexican restaurant, San Miguel's. Well, today he was found guilty on three charges of criminal surveillance, and he was sentenced to 90 days in Metro Jail. He was also found guilty of aggravated criminal surveillance, which carries a sentence of one year in jail. Heron has appealed the convictions to circuit court. It is time now to turn to our weather forecast, and it's another blue sky day. Let's check in with meteorologist John Nodar. And all that sunshine beaming down is warming us nicely. In fact, I've bumped up the temperature forecast for today to 80 degrees this afternoon. Take a look. Here's 2.30 this afternoon, and somewhere around 2.30 to about 4 o'clock will be in that 80-degree range. By 10 o'clock tonight, things will cool quickly. Once the sun goes down, when you have dry air and quiet conditions, you tend to see the temperature fall pretty quickly. And we'll bottom out in the 50s tomorrow morning. Here's the way things are looking right now. Just gorgeous, that's what, with blue skies above Midtown Mobile, as seen from the Alpha Sky Cam on our tower on Broadcast Drive. The uh, three-day outlook is for very warm conditions today, around 80 degrees, lots of sunshine. We'll add a few clouds tomorrow. 20% chance of rain late Wednesday, probably Wednesday night, and then a cooler, sunny Thursday. We'll talk more about that Wednesday night rain in just a minute. Thank you, John. Coming up, the local park is getting some much-needed upgrades that visitors will definitely notice. And we will take it to Wisconsin on the campaign trail where tonight's primary could help decide the future of the race. News 5 at noon will be right back. When I take on the insurance company, the gloves come off. I'm Mike Slogan, Alabama Hammer. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, let me fight the insurance company for you. Call me right now.
When Carlos was turned down for disability, he was about to lose everything, his home, his car, and his self-respect. He turned to Gardberg and Kemmerly, the disability lawyers. Gardberg and Kemmerly won his case, and he received his past due benefits in Medicare. Gardberg and Kemmerly have been winning disability cases for over 30 years. Their lawyers are experienced and know how to win. Call Gardberg and Kemmerly, Mobile's disability lawyers today at 343-1111 for help with your disability claim. I met a human who goes by the name King Shark. He's heading for Central City. Let's do this thing! Tonight at 7 on the CW55. Have you been injured in a car wreck? You can try this. <laughs> or you can call me. Oops. I'm Mike Slocum. Alabama Hammer. If you've been injured in a car wreck, call me right now. Well, welcome back. A local park will be getting some upgrades. New bathrooms will be installed at Sage Park at Dauphin Street and Sage Avenue in Mobile. In addition to the bathrooms, benches and tables will be added, including landscaping upgrades. The price tag for the project, over $230,000. The contract was awarded to M. Lacey Contracting, and the work will begin once the proposal is approved by the City Council. All right, let's turn to campaign 2016. Primary voters head to the polls in Wisconsin today to decide who should be their party's presidential nominee. On the Republican side, 42 delegates are up for grabs. On the Democratic side, 86 delegates are at stake. And the latest polls are spelling trouble for frontrunners on both sides. On the eve of the critical Wisconsin primary, Ted Cruz reminded supporters what's at stake. A victory here tomorrow will resonate across this country, will change the outcome in states to come all across this country. A Cruz win today will increase the chances of a contested GOP convention in July. The latest CBS News poll shows him ahead of Donald Trump by six points in the state. Monday, Trump's wife Melania made a rare appearance on the campaign trail trying to rally support. No matter who you are, a man or a woman, he treats everyone equal. We have millions more votes than Cruz. We've beaten him in most of the states. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton all but conceded Wisconsin yesterday. Her campaign sent out a fundraising email saying, quote, We are down in almost every poll in Wisconsin. Tomorrow's primary is going to be a tough fight. Sanders hopes today gives him momentum. If we win here, we're going to have a bounce going into New York State where I think we can win. Clinton still holds a significant lead over Sanders and delegates, but lags far behind him in fundraising. Well, polls close in Wisconsin at 8 o'clock tonight. After weeks of back and forth, Clinton and Sanders have agreed to debate each other next week in New York, which holds its primary April 19th. Right now, Donald Trump still has a lead in the delegate count over Ted Cruz and John Kasich, but the question remains, can he get 1,237 to secure the nomination? If not, we could have an open convention this summer. For the Democrats, it's still a large lead for Clinton, but Sanders continues to chip away with wins on the West Coast. New York next week will go a long way in deciding the Democratic candidate. Well, I have decided that I love today's weather, and this might be the best time of year to live on the Gulf Coast. I have to agree. This is one of the loveliest spring days we have mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. had, and I hope you've had a chance to get outside. We'll talk about that, talk about some midweek rain. There's more of this kind of weather down the road. We'll talk about that, too, next. Hey, there's a lot going on in your neighborhood and a lot to talk about. Get on the WKRG Facebook fan page, click the like button, get in on the conversation, and get local news in your news feed. If I get in a car wreck, I'm calling Morris Bart. 433-2210. Injured in a car wreck? You know what to do. Just call 433-2210 or Google Morris Bart. One call, that's all. You had me at a disadvantage for months, but not today. First time is a little trippy. New Limitless tonight. Thursday, big news we know you'll love. Our show's back on. And hooray for love. The oddest odd couple returns. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Felix, Felix, shut up. Matthew Perry and Thomas Lennon star in the comedy hit. Got him right in the ball. The odd couple premieres after the Big Bang Theory Thursday. 
Your home isn't just a home, it's an investment. Your house could be under attack by termites. Locally owned and operated, Bugmaster uses the revolutionary Centricon system to eliminate the termites at first sight. Centricon provides a barrier around your home using the Centricon station to eliminate the colony, tricking termites into distributing the bait to their colony, ultimately eliminating and killing the queen and destroying the colony. Call today to learn more at 666-4402 or go to Bugmaster.com. Hey, what's up with your game? No game today. I blew my knee out at work. Hmm, that is a pretty bad limp. What you do about it? I did the smart thing. I called legal options. Legal options? I heard about them. Yeah, they get it done when it comes to accidents and things like that. They're the experts. If you've been seriously injured, you've got options. Call legal options at 1-800-777-7774. Legal options, huh? I remember that. Spring is here, and the Palace Casino Resort is giving you a better way to play smoke-free. Every Monday through Thursday, earn points for a half-price lunch or dinner buffet. Wednesdays and Fridays, play for your spot in our Go for the Green $160,000 slot tournament. The final tournament will take place on June 18th, where the first-place winner will take home $20,000 in cash. And don't miss our other exciting promotions throughout the week. Smoke-free, a better way to play, only at Palace Casino Resort. You get hurt in an accident, you get yourself a lawyer. You call Morris Bart. My attorney is Morris Bart. Injured in a car wreck, you know what to do. Just call 433-2210 or Google Morris Bart. One call, that's all. Now, John Nodar with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, beautiful spring weather out there. Sunshine and mild temperatures. Let's throw in some low humidity and light winds as well. Here's the view from our Skywatch camera atop the Gulf Quest Maritime Museum looking over downtown. Blue sky beyond. It looks like a postcard out there with current conditions that include 76 degrees and low humidity, 33% humidity. That's really low for this part of the world. That's because we've got a north breeze that's coming off the continent, and that brings us dry air. Here are the temperatures around the area. Already mid and upper 70s at most locations. I told you earlier, I had to bump up the temperature forecast for today. I'm going with 80 for a daytime high, but that's offset by these very low dew points. It makes everything feel so good out there. Temperatures uh, in the uh, 70s and around 80 degrees dew points in the 40s means it's very dry, still very comfortable, even though that looks like it's below comfortable, it's still very comfortable outside. Early afternoon takes us to 80 degrees by 3 p.m., a warm day. Our average this time of year would be 75. And then the late afternoon hours, you see uh, just a steady easing down of the temperatures, a degree or so every hour, and we end up at around 75 by 6 p.m. Still a beautiful beach day. There are parasailers out there as we uh, look out from Orange Beach today. And if you are lucky enough to have a Tuesday off, or maybe you're on spring break, some schools are, uh, then just go ahead and enjoy what's going to be a terrific beach day, which includes not only the sunshine, but Low risk of rip currents, surf only one foot, and a little bit of a northeasterly breeze along with mild temperatures for the air and the water. Forecast for today. All right, this is 1 o'clock this afternoon. Nothing, I mean, just nothing. It's blue sky above and nothing else. Tomorrow we'll add some clouds to the mix, but still a good mix of sun and clouds for Wednesday. You notice there's a line of showers developing in the afternoon that will be in our neighborhood during the evening. Now, this is a forecast model, so it's not written in stone. It won't be exactly 11 p.m., might be an hour either side. But nonetheless, a thin line of fast-moving thunderstorms comes through. So you get a rumble of thunder during the evening hours. This should be out of here by about midnight or 1 a.m., and Thursday we're back to sunny skies. 80 degrees for a daytime high here. A little bit cooler as you head to the north. Uh, Birmingham, Atlanta in the 60s. And a little warmer as you head to the west. Shreveport and Dallas in the low and mid 80s. Here's the extended outlook that includes a warm, sunny day today. Still a pretty mild day Wednesday. And that rain chance is during the evening hours. So most of Wednesday will be pleasant too. Thursday we're back to sunny skies. And toward the end of the week we get a little shot of cooler air. So we'll be near 70 for daytime high through uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Overnight lows will dip into the 40s. 
Well, coming up next, highlights from last night's crazy national title game that went down to the very last second. Bugmaster.com. Bugmaster, the bug stops here. This Zensation salad is so good. It's like change your life good. Mm. It's you! Will you sign my book, please? You're a best-selling author? Who rocks a turtleneck? Ah. Oh, it's good to be me. Ah. <laughs> you Life-changing? Maybe. Indescribably good? Definitely. The Sensation Salad is back. Chicken fingers, crispy wonton strips, Asian slaw, honey sesame sauce, and a veggie egg roll. Only at Zaxby's. Hi, my name is Brett Vygodsky. If you've been injured on the job, you may not be receiving the workers' compensation or Social Security disability benefits to which you are entitled. We at Levin Papantonio can help guide you through the workers' compensation and Social Security systems. Give me a call today for a free consultation at 435-7134 or visit us online at levinlaw.com. Commercials from national social security firms leave you with little more than an 800 number. But an attorney-client relationship should be much more personal. It's about you knowing your lawyer and your lawyer knowing you. And it's about your lawyer making decisions that are in your best interest, not his. No exceptions. I'm Peter Lemoyne. I served as a social security judge for nearly a decade. Now I represent social security claimants on a full-time basis. Let me put my experience to work for you. When you get hurt in a car wreck, do you know who to call? Absolutely. Call 888-8888. Andy's got your winning number. Hurt in a car wreck? Everybody knows you call Andy. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, call the winning number. Call me right now. Andy fights to get you the money you really deserve. Andy wins. Call the winning number. 888-8888. I'm attorney Andy Citron, and I win. Or you don't owe me a dime. Call me. It's just that easy. Andy wins. Call 888-8888. Think dental care is expensive? You Save Dentistry can help. How do we do it? With an on-site dental lab and a team of caring, experienced dental professionals. You deserve quality. You deserve affordability. You Save Dentistry. Bugmaster.com. Bugmaster, the bug stops here. Welcome back to News 5 at noon. There is a new national champion in college basketball. The Villanova Wildcats beat North Carolina on a thrilling last-second shot last night. If you missed it, here it is, reported by Dana Jacobson of the CBS Sports Network. Trying to go length of the court with Archie Diacono. Three seconds at midcourt. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. Yes! March Madness went out with a bang. The national champions with Jenkins hitting the winner at the buzzer. Villanova junior Chris Jenkins let the ball fly from the three-point line as the clock hit zero. How about that? And like that, one of the most dramatic title games ever was in the record books. One of the great championship games you'll ever, ever see. The call from the Villanova student radio station says it all. Two seconds to go. Jenkins three, right wing to win it. Like Coach said, he made the perfect pass, and every time I want to step, it's definitely going up. Villanova had Coach Jay Wright celebrated with a stone-cold reaction. He says he was shocked at the outcome. We have an end-of-a-game situation play like that. We put it in Arch's hands. Uh, Chris told him he was going to be open. Arch made the perfect pass, and Chris, Chris Jenkins lives for that moment. The thrill of victory was apparently too much for commentator Charles Barkley, whose celebration dance was captured by cameras. And here's a three-point shot. Yes! Barry opens the scoring from three. But through it all, the competition never lost its stride. Page looking for a three. He's got it. With eight lead changes in the first half alone, North Carolina's Marcus Page tied the game with seconds to spare. It's Page off balance. Puts it home! leaving enough time for one last play. At that point, we believed we were going to win. We just needed 4.7 seconds of defense. Um. North Carolina head coach Roy Williams was crushed. I'm so proud of my team, but you have to congratulate Villanova. They're worthy champions there. Uh, but I love my kids in that locker room. Okay. But for Villanova fans, it was history. 
Well, as you saw, Villanova fans went wild after the game. It was the school's second NCAA championship basketball title since 1985. And keep it right here. News 5 at noon. We'll be right back. If you've been injured in a car wreck, demand Richard Mather. This is Legal Update with Cunningham Bounds. Hello, this is Legal Update. I'm Drexel Gilbert, and I'm joined today by Cunningham Bounds attorneys Billy Bonner and Lucy Tufts. And today we are talking about speed and stopping distance in commercial vehicles. So, come on guys, we have all been tailgated by a big rig on the interstate, and it's not a lot of fun. No, and it happens all too often, Drexel. In addition to being terrifying, the consequences can be deadly, as you can see here. According to the National Safety Council, if a big truck is going 80 miles an hour on the interstate instead of 50 miles an hour, it makes the risk of death from a crash eight times more likely. So how has speed and stopping distance played a role in some of your cases? Drexel, even when a truck runs right into the back of someone else, trucking companies almost always deny liability. So what should you do when that happens? Hire a law firm that will actually fight for you. Cunningham Bounds takes the case to court and hires accident reconstruction engineers to prove mathematically that if the truck driver had maintained a safe speed and stopping distance, he would have avoided the crash. Drexel, the time it takes to stop a big truck includes the time it takes to recognize a hazard, to react to the hazard, and then to physically bring the truck to a stop. And that process takes much longer than you think. If a truck driver causes a wreck because he was following you too closely, he should be fully responsible for all of the injuries and damages that he causes. Our firm will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any trucking company that tries to avoid fully and fairly compensating you for your claim. You shouldn't settle for anything less. Thank you for great information. This has been a Cunningham Bounds Legal Update. To have your potential case evaluated by a Cunningham Bounds attorney, call 1-800-472-6191. Some interesting news from the tech world today. HP has unveiled the new title holder for the world's thinnest laptop. The Spectre is thinner and lighter than the 13-inch MacBook Air. It's only four-tenths of an inch thick, and it weighs a little bit less than two and a half pounds. The price tag, $1,170. And don't forget, we are working hard on our next newscast on our laptops. So please join Peter, myself, Randy, Mel, Roseanne, and Allen for News 5 at 5 and 6. And you can get news on your laptop.